We're keeping an eye on education. The largest school district in the state is one sleep away from starting up for the new year. And of course, today here on Wake Up See Bus, we are welcoming Dr. Angela Chapman, superintendent of Columbus City Schools, to talk with us about this new start. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So how excited are you about the start of a new year? We are super excited about the start to the new school year. As educators, this is the time of the year that we live for, the mm -hmm. start of the new school year. And why is that? It's, it's like a holiday for us. <laughs> it's the, the moment we've been waiting for. Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's a new beginning. And our theme this year is dream big and achieve more. We certainly want to make sure that we're inspiring our students, our families, our staff members to that. really conquer those dreams and know that they have the support behind them to achieve those dreams. That's great. And you are a CCS family yourself as well too. Yes. So just yes. walk us through how your day is starting and then how you greet everyone. So uh, tomorrow morning is the first day of school, Wednesday, August 21st. We'll be welcoming back over 45,000 students wow. to come back to us um, for the new school year. Mm -hmm. And um, my day will start at 5 a.m. tomorrow. I'll be at the bus compound mm -hmm. at 5 a.m. greeting our bus drivers as they hit the road mm -hmm. to uh, pick up all of our students across the city. And um, we'll visit one of our high schools, which our high school start at 7.30 a.m. And then I will make sure that I make it home to make sure that I get my son mm -hmm. off to the bus stop uh -huh. early in the morning before school starts. And then we'll visit more schools to make sure that um, they are being welcomed back, mm -hmm. warm and welcoming environments, greet our families, greet our students. Um, we have uh, several schools that uh, received renovations over the summer okay. and so we really want to check out those sites and make sure that the students um, see those smiling faces and the expressions on their face when they see the new spaces, new spaces. the new learning environment. Wonderful. So it's really exciting time of the year for us and really excited about the first day tomorrow. So let's talk about buses because we talk yes. about transportation and we just reported it looks like staff levels are good for the <sighs> district this year. Absolutely. So Every summer we look at all of our routes and we make sure that we are maximizing our routing information, our efficiencies, and we also have to make sure that we adjust for changes. So mm -hmm. over the summer, families move. Yeah. And so we have to make sure that we're making those adjustments. And so we're happy to report that starting the 24-25 school year that we have drivers to cover our routes. And so we are well positioned to have um, a smooth school year this year. Mm -hmm. We've also partnered with some contractors that are helping us and supporting us with picking up some of our routes. So that provided us with a little bit of flexibility okay. because I want to name that we're still operating in a national driver shortage mm -hmm. and CCS has not figured out the magic trick for that, mm -hmm. but we have made some internal internal adjustments to make sure that we have enough uh, drivers to cover our routes. I, I want to just quickly touch on uh, technology, if you will. We learned this year that K through 8 you, is no longer to be bringing Chromebooks home. Yeah. So how are you accommodating families that might, ha might not have internet access at home? And then also cell phones are a little bit different this oh, year yeah. with some new rules. So how, how are you incorporating technology into this year? So we want to think about technology as a tool. It's a resource. We think of um, our students have textbooks in the classroom. We also want to make sure that they have technology in the classroom. And so one of the ways that we're um, leveraging this strategy is we're still a one-to-one -one district. So all of our students will have a device that's assigned to them. For our high school students, they will have the flexibility. They'll be taking their Chromebooks back and forth to school. For our K through eight students, we're really trying to shift to a model where we're keeping the Chromebooks in school. We found that a lot of our Chromebooks that were going home, they were breaking, mm -hmm. um, they weren't being taken care of in the best way possible. And so we want to maintain that technology primarily for instructional use in the classroom. So we need those devices to be readily available for testing, for curricular resources, so that they can access the web to do research in the classroom. And so that is a shift this year. And we do have some flexibility if families need to take mm -hmm. the device home. We have some devices on loan that families can access and take home um, as needed. And then as it relates to cell phones, 
We are certainly, um, in some of our classrooms, teachers are using the cell phone as a tool and mm -hmm. a resource, and so our teachers will still have that flexibility, but our uh, school and district policies are already in line with the governor's shift in that language that re really maximizes instructional time and really limits the use of cell phones in the classroom. All right, we are getting the wrap in our ears, but we are so glad that you could come in this morning, Dr. Chapman, and we wish you a good school year, and we hope that you, you and your son have fun at the bus stop tomorrow. Yes, we are looking forward to it and excited about the first day of school tomorrow. We hope that you will come back. Yes. We love talking with you. Yes. More. <laughs> so we'll do our homework and have her back. Thank yes. you so much. I gotta start studying now. <laughs>